In the run-up to a major performance, Alina Westphal practices air guitar four to five hours a day. While I do this, I'm really in a kind of trance. Shortly before I go on stage, I always think, you must be mad to stand up here in front of 7,000 people. This performance won her the world champion in air guitarist title last year. She had just 60 seconds to convince the jury. At the championships in Finland, she beat out 20 other finalists. It's the second time a woman has won. Rock music is a male-dominated world, and you expect a rock star like Mick Jagger. Women are more seldom. But although it's not that common in general, women are well-established and respected in the air guitar world. Points are awarded for the competitor's acting talents, stage presence, technique and creativity. Alina Westphal places great importance on incorporating new moves into her show. Yes, I invented something new. There is the windmill, and mine is smaller, the clockwork. It only works here, and not everyone can do it. There seems to be something wrong with my arm. I can wind it up, I can throw it over, which doesn't work with a real guitar. That's the advantage of an air guitar. Most recently, Alina appeared at the world's biggest heavy metal festival in Wacken in northern Germany. Henner Moltan is an event organizer. He knows why she's so successful. She's unique because she has something really special when she performs. I don't know many air guitarists who can match her. Make the audience feel they can see and feel the guitar, that it's really alive. Born in 1984, Alina Westphal has just completed her studies in stage arts at the University of Hildesheim. She discovered her passion for air guitar by chance. There was this air guitar seminar. That's where this insanity began. She discovered her talent at a workshop called Media Aesthetic Thoughts on Air Guitar. She didn't just want to play air guitar, but also examine it academically. She wrote her final thesis on the cultural history of the air guitar and got high marks. There is no air guitar lexicon or anything similar. So there's not too much to work with, so it wasn't that simple. And that's why I'm especially proud I was able to shed some light on this topic, despite the lack of literature. Someday my thesis will be among those books. Two years ago, Alina founded an air guitar band. With an air guitar, an imaginary keyboard, saxophone and bass, Four versus Hellfire poke a little fun at all the rock cliches. They perform their own program and even have an air rock opera in their repertoire. With this song we always have a flow because it packs a punch and it's fun. It has to look good, not be technically accurate. People are often irritated by someone playing the air guitar. Sure, it's strange to play in front of people who maybe don't want to see someone staging something and who can't relate to air guitar. But no one made a fuss, and I think some of them even liked it. Now Alina is gearing up to defend her title at the upcoming 17th World Championships, once again in Finland. I'm wound up. I just want to soak up the atmosphere. Just go up on this stage and enjoy it, and have an experience that I'll never forget. After the competition, Alina Westphal plans to organize air guitar contests herself and make her favorite instrument even more popular.